For most people, especially the babies that we see who are found prenatally to have this, it's something that just resolves. And it might resolve when they're still in the womb, it might resolve while they're infants, or it might resolve over a period of several years. There are other kids who have problems with hydronephrosis from causes that, that don't go away. And for some of those, we end up having to fix the problem. For others, it's something that is just there and doesn't actually need to be fixed, but also doesn't actually resolve. And so those people, often it just gets followed over time. We check in, make sure the ultrasound still looks stable, and we decide that that's all we need to do. So it is something that certainly for most people especially kids who have this, it is something that resolves. A lot of what we do in seeing a child with hydronephrosis is trying to figure out what the underlying reason for the finding is. And that might involve additional testing, it might involve us just watching things over time. But depending on what we identify as the cause, that will help decide what we need to do in terms of treatment. And that might range everywhere from doing absolutely nothing and simply watching it, all the way up to a surgery to correct the problem that's causing the hydronephrosis. <laughs>